closing ceremonies for the 2021 P.J. Hope Secretary's Cup. <laughs> to kick off the closing ceremonies, I'd like to bring up P.J. President and strong supporter of P.J. Hope and the great American, as far as I'm concerned, Mr. Jim Richardson. Thanks, Chris, and uh, like I say, thank you for those remotely that hopefully are tuned in Wi-Fi. I think we got to work out, and the six teams that played today. And as we said earlier, gentlemen, ladies, thank you for all that you've done and all you've given to our country. Our members, thank you very much. You know, our men and women that are PGA members are very passionate about growing the game and what they do through golf. Uh, I'd really like to thank the six PGA members, the captains of those teams that were here today, and the five playing remotely for all of your work, not only to grow the game, but especially your work to help veterans through PGA Help. So all of the coaches and captains. Special thanks to the REACH team, everybody from the PGA of America that works with PGA Hope from a national perspective, Carolina's perspective, and those uh, 11, 12 sections that were represented today. So for all of you through uh, your sections, through PJ Reach and PJ Hope, thank you for all the staff members and all the work that you do. <laughs> and special thanks to our hosts here at Key Island Golf Resort, especially the PJ members that hosted here today. Uh, host professionals Rick Ferguson and Colin Baldwin, and then a little bit of the home course victory. I'll let Chris talk about that later, but many were questioning the team that won because the pro got way too many practice rounds, I guess, here at Oscar throughout the last few years. So. We'll, we'll leave that to Chris to, to, to figure out here later. Um, as Chris said, this, as a PJ officer, as a PJ member, I, I'm very fortunate and humbled to be able to be involved in a lot of interesting and neat things as it relates to the game of golf. The PJ Championship is one of those. On Sunday, I get the opportunity to actually present the trophy to the champion of the PJ Championship. My father uh, served in the Army. And he told me recently that you, know, you can screw up the trophy presentation on Sunday, but make sure you don't screw up the Secretary's Cup. So we've got military in our background. Uh, my father served, uh, and this is really close to my heart and the work that PJ members do for PJ Hope. So thank all of you for playing today. Thank you for what you do for PJ of America and PJ Hope. And for the PJ uh, professionals that are involved in this program, keep spreading the great word because we want this program to continue to grow to continue to build, and hopefully we can help more and more veterans each and every year. Thank you. According to his remarks, there's not too many opportunities for me to butcher the English language again, um, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Uh, I'm very fortunate to have the job I am. I do uh, get to do this and, and work around great people. Um, I'm very fortunate that I'm able to give back and, and see, see veterans receive how I feel about adaptive sports and how I feel about the game of golf in my rehab process. Uh, this wouldn't happen without some individuals, and I'm going to be real quick here. Uh, first of all, our team is, read, is led by Mr. Ryan Cannon, who's the REACH uh, director, so nice round of applause for him. <laughs> and uh, believe it or not, I have zero responsibility when it comes to doing anything in reference to this. There's two individuals who do it all, uh, Andre and Alyssa. We call them the A team. They do all that. I just show up and butcher the English language. Uh, let's talk about our remote uh, teams that played. I, I realized I couldn't be here. It was a little different, but it was great to see them participating, see the scores. Hopefully, that we've got some good video, got some good. Uh, media from that, and they'll be able to enjoy that and, and as we move forward. Uh, I'd also like to present two, two flags that we had signed. First, to, uh, you know, th this guy, we, we reached out to him on the phone, and he's like, what can I do? How can I help you? My course is open to you. Come, play, do whatever you want. Um, big passion about hope, and he's the, the, one of the PGA pros here. Colin, why come on up for me, please? <laughs> Second flag I'd like, like to present, and, and I don't 
Not sure everybody in the room understands. It took me six years to figure out the dynamics of how the PJ of America is set up. You have the CEO, you got the COO, you got all these different people, and then, then you have this, this person they call the president, and he's elected by the members. Um, he's been with the, doing the Home Secretary Cup for four years with me. Again, uh, really, really passionate. I think he's going to help us move this program forward and grow and impact more veterans. Uh, Mr. Jim Richardson, President. <laughs> with that being said, I'd like to announce the winner of the 2021 PGA Hope Secretary's Cup. I'm not doing names. Tied at minus 10, we had the Kiwa Island program and the South Pines One program. It came down to the scorecard in the hole in the 2021 PGA Hope Secretary Cup. Winners are Kiwa Island. Please <laughs> Just like to thank all the staff for putting this on in the, in the National Reach Program for the section. I know how much work goes on behind the scenes to host an event like that. But most importantly, I'd like to thank all the veterans who are here today. We're here because of you and for you. So thank you for the sacrifice that you've made for all of us to have the ability to do what we love to do every single day. Thank you so much. Yeah. Live. Uh, we can't wait for the 2022 PGA Hope Secretary's Cup being hosted by the South Central PGA section. Look forward to seeing everybody. Look forward to doing this again. Again, everybody, have a great day and thank you. All right.